Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and I think you're the one who's going to be missing Sten's death, Spooky. For boss time, and let's play Breath of Fire 2! One thing I forgot to mention in adjusting my setup here, I want to be equipped with holy elemental weapons, not fire elemental, because, well, Spooky is only weak to holy, not fire there, so, whoops. I had it listed in my, my setup and my notes, I just didn't do that because I was so focused on the speed. Okay, so I'm not even going to bother with ginsengs. I didn't bring any with me. Yeah, we got silver knife going there. And let's see. If I can get it, I'd like to get silence on her. Although I doubt I'll be able to get it through because she has pretty high magic resistance. Although she's not fully immune to it. Fortunately, though, she doesn't have a whole lot of HP. That's... Yeah, she just silenced... Aspara there, so now I can't silence her! Well, I suppose it's better than her actually attacking me. Yeah, so... Yeah, when you silence, just like Final Fantasy games, you can't cast any spells. So, yeah, let's just leave Aspara there. Haha! -ha! Look at all those crits! Turbo Charge Power! Yeah, that was easy. You insolent fool! Yeah, wait. Yes, we can. We just did, didn't we? But wouldn't you die if you do that? That doesn't exactly sound like the best plan. Then again, well, as you saw during the battles, she's probably a demon, so maybe she's expecting someone else to step in. I heard someone say that the machines and all that stuff that we got in the castle here, it, this is like where the obelisk used to be in the first game or something or other like that. I don't know how accurate that is, but... Eh, Kind of makes sense. I mean, they have the teleporters all over the place and everything. Yeah, use the selfie method to get the damn thing to work the way you want it to. Oh, well, they made it monkey-proof, at least. Didn't make it Bailey-proof, though. That, that requires a whole nother level. We'd probably be sticking our fingers into electric sockets and everything. Sleep, damn you! Well, an earthquake, evidently. Ah. Oh. Well, yeah. Ha ha. Damn you, Avatar! And she died. Oh, yeah, we might want to get out of here. Sounds like a plan. Let's do it. I like how Sten has the same hair color as the princess when he's fused with Sanamo there. It's like they got the same color palette or something going on. So why is everything coming apart? Maybe she just wanted to take us down with her or something? I don't know. So are we going to get this thing floating in the air or not? Ah, well, couldn't we, I don't know, take the stairs? Well, they only go up from here, but... All aboard! Oh, well, you've been taking my orders well enough. I like how everyone else doesn't even say anything. Like, okay, bye. Thank you for sacrificing yourself for the cause. Go team. So how are you going to get down? 
kind of things. Don't answer that, viewers. And he dies. Nuts. And after all that work I put into him, can I at least get my shaman back? Well, yeah, he would have if he took lethal damage, so... Nuts. Oh. Yeah, maybe. So, are you the one in charge now? Shouldn't you be a queen or something? Oh, hey, hey, okay, that was the whole reason why I was going through all this stuff. So, all right, got the master flute. All we got to do now is go back to Melodia, and then we'll be able to, well, get the pillow and talk to the, the tree. Whichever one it is, wise tree or something or other. Oh, what's going on? There can be only one! Oh, yeah, that, that too. Oh, yeah, that's true. I would think you would worship a monkey god or something. Then again, they do have a dragon statue here. That's... Aww. Oh, yeah, pretty much. He must be deeply afflicted with the Bailey curse. We succeed in spite of ourselves. And fail in spite of ourselves, too. It's just the way it works. But okay, let's get out of here, then. How many of these bridges do I gotta go over, anyway? Although, I do like land bridges. We need more land bridges in RPGs. Oh, hey! You're alive! Well, I guess all that work I put into you wasn't for nothing, then. Ha ha. Oh, yeah. You failed at failing. Oh, um, yeah. What was so special about that, anyway? Oh. Um, yeah, I suppose. Nuts. And they died for being good men. Oh, well, he, he's got that, well, good luck stat, at least. Or whatever causes you to Auto revive when you die. Well, I'm not going to be coming. Did you just commit suicide? What are you doing? Well, we got the flute, so yeah, it's all so much the better. Uh, yeah, that's true. Well, all right, let's get out of here. And I don't think we can ever come back in here. If you ever g walk up to the pole, yeah, you just get that message there. So, yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. So, okay, well, that's all of our business here. I will meet you back at Township then, unless I run into a new enemy on the way back. Okay, we're back at Township here. Now, if you didn't buy the Black Helms earlier because you didn't get an extra coin from the Mimics, well, at this point in the game, once you've completed your business at Highland there, Beretta will have new equipment, including the Black Helm. So, I would get a couple of those. 
we uh, they would be useful for Ryu and Bosh, though Sten is better off on the Moon Mask, so I'd just leave him with that. And yeah, she'll upgrade her equipment after certain events in the game, depending on the situation there. One thing I also want to do, now that we are done with our business at uh, Highland there, I want to rearrange, or well, move, one of the shamans. I want to give Bosh some ammo, because he can take better use of it with his twin bow, and Sten isn't going to have another solo segment. So now I don't need to help him out as much. Now we don't see any changes, but just trust me, he's going to deal more damage. Alright, sounds like a deal. Although, regarding Sten, he is mandatory for the next dungeon, so we're, go we're still going to need him. Well, let's see what everyone has to say now that we've finished our business going on. Oh. Um, yeah, I suppose. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, what's going on? Oh. Um, yeah, I can't blame you. Oh. Um. <laughs> Oh, really? Oh, well, yeah. wonder how many of those things we got around here anyhow. I don't know. Let's see, all the rooms on this floor are empty, so let's go up to the upper floors. I think just about everyone has some unique dialogue both here and in the, in the lobby there. I think one or two might have just the same dialogue. I forget exactly. See, that's Sten's room I'm passing up there. Now, I, 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 I don't want to know. He's speaking in tongues! Or French. I get those two mixed up all the time. Oh. Yeah, I, I wouldn't imagine about that sort of thing, Tapeta. Well, let's see if the ladies have anything else to say. Dace doesn't say anything when she's in a room, because she's always sleeping. So she'll always just have the same thing to say. Oh, what do you mean outside your class? You mean like magic class, or like upper class, lower class, or just your job class, your race, or something? There's a lot of classes we have in JRPGs. Oh. No, I suppose not. Uh, she said I don't get him. Which, I don't get him either. But he's good in combat, so I'm going to be using him quite a bit. Well, let's switch around our party members and see what anyone else has to say about this. I think we get some especially good dialogue out of... Sten there. So let's let the ladies rest in the lobby here. Hmm. Well, I hadn't heard about that before Highland. Oh, really? Well, yeah, that's what everyone seems to be talking about. No, I don't need to talk to you again. Stop moving around! Oh. Um. Well, evidently someone knew about all that. How the demons knew about that, I don't know. Oh. Um, well, yeah, once you get inside Sten's head, there's no going back, Bosh. It's too late. Oh, yeah, we already heard that. Well, let's pay a visit to Sten, if I can ever get up these stairs. I kind of feel like these dialogue sequences are kind of like the ATEs in Final Fantasy IX, in a way. Except it's just pretty much pure text. Yeah, what's going on, man? Ah. Then why did you fight for them? 
mats. I was under the impression that battles, like in medieval times and stuff, were usually pretty one-sided. Yeah, I wouldn't want to see it again, but... Well, you're about to, Sten. We've been killing demons left and right. That's kind of a declaration of war if I ever saw one. Let's see. Let's just check if uh, Tapeta and uh, Rand have anything interesting to say in the lobby. Oh, really? Huh. So why are they the only ones who have, like, a remotely decent military? Oh. Yeah, I suppose so. Okay, well, that's everything we can do here. We got the Master Flute. If you got the Black Helms, so much the better. Let's return to Melodia, then. I'll just meet you over there. Okay, we're back at Melodia. Now that we've got the flute, well, we can talk to the, everyone here. That's... Hmm. Diet wizard, huh? Oh, well, yeah, she would be. She's a queen. What did you expect? Oh. Man, we got a lot of cooks around here, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, yeah, we've already got that. We just need to borrow a magic pillow for some reason. Yeah, we, we got that. Thanks. Thanks, game. Oh, is, is there anything over here? I don't know. Hey, how's it going? I didn't know they had a church here. I totally forgot about that. Not that I really have any use of it. I mean, they got a dragon statue up front. Oh. Yeah, I suppose. Man, they got a lot of people around here. Oh. Yeah, I suppose. But I thought you didn't want your queen to recover. Oh. Great. We have to go through another dungeon to get the pillow. How many more dungeons do we have to go through for this segment of the game? <laughs> oh. Yeah, I suppose. No, I haven't heard of that. Oh. Hmm. Remember that for later, viewers. That'll be good to know for later. See, I already talked to that guy earlier. Anyone else live here? Yeah, it's a pretty big place you got here, man. I like how they have the different tiers of the city. Kind of seems a little bit like a pyramid in a way. Oh. Yeah, so I heard. Well, there's no cure for being a jerk, to put it mildly. Hey, what's one of those monkey guys doing here? Oh. So they hire us just for guards, too? Huh. I thought you were only conscripted for, like, war and stuff. Hmm. Yeah, we can't get in there right now. Kind of looks like that magic door we saw before. Oh. Well, good, good. Well, yeah, they should be. Oh. Oh, yeah, you don't want to give up the secret ingredient. Oh, yeah. 
Where are the men around here anyway? I just saw like two guys here. Oh, wow. Holy cow. Oh, <laughs> Well, I suppose if you can cook, you can... that That's good enough for them, I suppose. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. And that. Does anyone have something new and useful to say? Well, where is the queen? She's not on the throne. How about the king? Okay, how's it going? Oh, who's Ged? Lord Ged? No. Oh, yeah, probably. Oh, hmm. I wonder if he's the guy that the other lady was talking about before. Ah, nuts. Well, maybe we should buy a treadmill for her. Well, yeah, that's usually what happens. Save her from herself. Grumble, grumble. Nuts. But can we find the Diet Wizard to save the Queen of Melodia? Find out next time on Let's Play Breath of Fire 2! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!